Hi, um, I am so, so angry at an article I just read today about an 18-year-old boy who committed suicide because his roommate um, publicized his sexual encounters over the internet. Now, I am not sure if I'm angry that the boy committed suicide or angry at the two cohorts who, who, who participated in this crime. Now, at 18, 18, 18, 18, 1, 8, freshman in college, um, you would think that people would focus on studying and getting acquainted with the college life and stuff as opposed to meddling in other people's businesses. Why would an 18-year-old boy publish, not only tweet, but also publish his roommate's sexual encounters, um, whether it be gay, whether it be straight, uh, whatever it is, um, you know, for whatever reason, you have no right to do such a thing. And because of that, this boy um, actually committed suicide, Tyler, Tyler Clementi, I believe his name is. Um, now, I believe that this two should actually face the full um, um, punishment for their crime. One, for invasion of privacy. Two, in fact, to some extent, should be charged with, uh, should be charged in some extent with connection to the, to this boy's murder. Um, because, um, without that, without their actions, Tyler Clementi would still be here today. Now, we don't know the full details of the matter. Um, and if, if and only if, you know, this um, um, outing was the reason why Tyler Clementi decided to take his own life, which I don't think is the wisest idea, the wisest way to counsel. Um, but this brings me to one point. We need a lot of counseling for our youth. We need to find ways, different ways to encourage our youth to seek help, to seek guidance, to seek um, direction. Now, for an 18-year-old boy to resort to suicide because a peer, his peer, um, put out his business is, is, is mind-boggling, is mind-boggling. Therefore, I think parents, teachers, colleagues, friends, everyone is responsible for making sure that every other person's well-being is being taken care of. Um, and, and really, I think if we look out for ourselves, you know, what happened to the days of it takes a village to raise a child, you know, um, there'll be less, less and less of, of this kinds of stories, you know, out there and you, less, less events like this occurring. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but let me hear from you and, um, and yeah, um, pray for the, pray for the hearts and the souls and the minds of your children, of your brothers, your sisters, your parents. Um, your friends, your uncles, your aunties, and everyone, everyone that is related to you, because you do not know um, when people are going through things that they cannot handle. Now, that that extra arm, that extra help, that extra care, love, question, concern, you know, could save a life. Um, so I will leave that with you. Um, if you really, the the story is still is still um, um, and is still developing. So watch out for it. Google it, look it up, and um, you know, pray for the families of, of, of the people involved. Pray for Tyler Clemente's family especially. And um, I'll leave you with that. God bless you.